So what is a limiting belief? And do you have one? Well, I can answer the second question pretty much straight away, and that is unfortunately yes. But the good thing is, we can actually change and update our beliefs over time. But first of all, we have to know what they are. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm Stephen Burns from Solutions in Mind, and in this video, I'd like to discuss limiting beliefs. Now, in order to talk about these, I want to first talk about beliefs themselves. What actually is a belief? Well, it is a subjective term, but in my opinion, a belief is a feeling of certainty about something. It's where we fully invest into an idea, where we fully subscribe into it. And then because we have become convinced, because we're certain about it, then it kind of goes into the background of our experience. We don't really think about it consciously all the time, but it does affect pretty much everything that we do. So when it comes to a limiting belief, this is really an idea that we've fully subscribed to, something we feel certain about, that hinders and suppresses our own natural natural innate ability. And usually these are to do with our potential, it could be our self-worth, it could be our happiness, our capabilities, or it could be something external about the world. But irrespective of what the limiting belief is, generally what it does is it really hinders this natural resourcefulness that we have as a human being. You know, as human beings, one of the reasons why we're the dominant species on the planet is because we are innately resourceful. We are incredible. We have all kinds of flexibility in our own thinking, in our own behaviour. But when we subscribe to an idea that hinders this, it can feel like we are restricted. It can feel like we can't really do anything and we're not resourceful. To give you an example, there's a famous Olympic diver, I think he's retired now, called Mark Lindsay. Now he actually started off as a wrestler, but he used to dive to relax, I don't know why. But apparently his signature move was to do a three and a half somersault. And when he started competing as an Olympic athlete, he did this three and a half somersault over and over again. But then over time, he started to notice that no one else was doing this move. And then I don't know if you can guess what happened he started to struggle to do it. And the thing is, he still had the ability to do this dive. He had just placed these fake illusionary restrictions on himself, these limiting beliefs, that hindered his ability to tap into his own innate resourcefulness. And I think this is a really useful example because it's very true of our own limiting beliefs. You know, we all have beliefs about our own potential, our own worth, our own capabilities. But what if they were just illusions? What if you were to step beyond through these limitations, these limiting ideas, and see them for what they really are? Now, I'm not saying that they won't have evidence to back them up. Of course, that's how beliefs work. But what if they weren't a true depiction of reality, of what you are capable of doing? And I genuinely don't believe that they are. So if you were to step beyond your own limiting beliefs, what would be past the surface? Because I think that's a place where you really start to tap into and connect with that pure potentiality, that innate resourcefulness that we have as human beings. So that's just a quick overview on limiting beliefs. It is a really large topic. If you're interested in learning more about this, then I'd recommend you check out the NLP Personal Transformation online video program on the Solutions in Mind website. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with future videos and future content. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.